Well, Thanksgiving is a time of traditions for many families, but you know, they've looked a little different since 2019. Some good, some stressful, unfortunately. Well, don't worry, because our mental health and wellness expert, Jane Marks, is here with us to help you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Good morning, Jane, and happy Thanksgiving. Good morning, Shannon. It's great to be here on this Thanksgiving day and with the return of the Macy's Parade. Yes, and now they're not just pulling the float, the balloons behind cars. They have people actually helping out this year, so it'll be nice. But you know what? A lot of us tend to follow family, you know, script. They want to just stick to the traditions of the family, and but you may be able to build your own memories this year as well. So, Jane, what are some typical traditions that you all celebrate for Thanksgiving? Well, you know, we always start, most of us start with a turkey and with mm -hmm. sides or having friends bring over sides. But And I and again, watching the parade and, and you know, um, we all sit around as families and we give thanks and we take time to make sure that we connect with family members. And you know, a lot of us do turkey trots, you know, around the country. So those are the more typical ones. And then we have traditions where we bring back grandma's dishes and those things that those feel good experiences, those comfort experiences. I, I think that for Thanksgiving, it's that time where, you know, depending on what part of the country you're in, you know, it depends. That, that also depends on the mm -hmm. dish that you're having. Mm -hmm. Think about that stuffing versus dressing. Which one for you, Shannon? There's a difference. There's a difference. <laughs> I'll take them both. I'm, right. I'm loading up my plate. I don't know about you, but I'm well, it all. well, one is inside the turkey, and then one is outside the turkey. But oh. I, I think when it comes to traditions, most of us look forward to those experiences that we had with our relatives mm. historically. But I think for some people, Thanksgiving is a time where you're a little bit more at risk, meaning that you're more likely to experience a little bit more. Uh, depression or you know isolation so you want to be very cognizant uh, of those experiences and remember traditions they make us feel good they they give us comfort you know we we sit there we're watching sports with the family we're mm. eating those those wonderful meals that have been passed down from generation to generation but you know what we can always change our traditions and we tell that to people who are experiencing a little bit of that what we call winter blues yeah and it's also a good thing when you're bringing two families together like my wife has her traditions from her family I have mine and we're bringing them together and now that we have kids now we can incorporate some of the things that they want to do so you have some suggestions for those that may want to mix things up a little bit this year and try try some new traditions oh absolutely when you're talking about uh, trying new traditions here's one I really love and I'll, I have my patients do this Celebrate everyone's birthday because you know you got everybody together. So it's a great time to do okay. that. You want to have a movie marathon. Now here are the ones I like. I don't know about you, Shannon, but <laughs> I love soul food and I like uh, movies like Mississippi Marsala. They have mm. experiences where they show Thanksgiving. So you want you know you might want to do a Thanksgiving marathon, Charlie Brown's Christmas that, or <laughs> and Charlie Brown's Thanksgiving. You want to have the youngest, like your kids, be a big part of the meal, where they serve and where they, you know, say that you, can I help you or can I help mm -hmm. with the cleanup? You know, you just want to make them, or can I help cook? You want them to be a, a big part of that. When you think in terms of those new experiences that you want to add on, you think, well, you know what, have everybody bring a retired blanket or a retired coat, and you can all go down together and take it to, to the nearest homeless sh shelter. You can exchange holiday gifts. You can learn about different cultural experiences. All of these are new things to bring on this year and something to look forward to. And also building your, you're building your memories and you're also bonding with your family. So to start traditions has so many benefits. One, it's good for your mental health, your sense of well-being. You know, it's a good way to start off the new year. And you know what, we're coming off of the pandemic and so isn't it nice to start something fresh, Shannon? Oh, it definitely is. And one of the things I like to do with my kids is take them down to a homeless shelter or a place, a church where they're feeding the homeless mm -hmm. and say, you know what, we have food at home, but look how many people do not have a meal. So they can really see that they are, you know, opportunities to be thankful for what they have and to help others as well. So, you know, it's an opportunity to give back. I always try to encourage people to give back, even if it's, you know, just taking some food to the church or taking something that you, clothing you may have that you have in the excess, you know, to help others. You know what you're teaching? Mm -hmm. Grace and gratitude to your children. That's a wonderful, powerful, powerful lesson for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. So good for you. Mm -hmm. Now, what about some people that have difficult times? You know, it's not all joy and happy for a lot of people. A lot of people have lost family members during the pandemic, and there it's going to be a sad uh, holiday season for them. How do you suggest they get through the holidays? For those people, first of all, you got to acknowledge the fact that you've got these feelings. You've got them. Mm -hmm. You know. 
And more importantly, when it comes to taking care of yourselves, you cannot do it like everyone else. You must take care of yourself in a very different way. You know, health hygiene becomes critical. And it's also important, you know, and that means sleep, exercise, diet, the kinds of things that we talk about all the time. But I think the most important thing is to reach out. We are there for you. I think so often we want to hold on to that pain by ourselves. And Thanksgiving Day, it's a day for all of us to give back. So if you're feeling alone or if you're feeling a little bit more at risk, reach out. You don't have to be by yourself. And this is a year, you know, we've come off of two very difficult years, you know, as far as the pandemic is concerned. And we've survived it. And so it's a day for us to be thankful, but more importantly, it's a day for us to join everyone and experience thanks, at least on some level, even if it's mm -hmm. just a little one. Yeah, and call those people that, uh, you know, you may not have seen in a while and actually mm -hmm. give them a phone call and say, I'm thankful for you. Thank you for being in my life. You know, I'm glad you're here. Things like that, I think, are important also. You know, a lot, a lot of us get on our phones and text everybody, but sometimes people just need to hear a voice, especially those people that may be too far to get to and may not have a lot of family with them. But also, I want to ask you, there are certain certain things that we should not bring to the dinner table. What are some of those trigger words or conversations that we need to stay away from to keep everybody happy on Thanksgiving? Well, you know, let me just tell you a, a secret that I tell my patients. You know, because you're always going to have that relative that, that's mm -hmm. a little bit toxic. They're going to say things that are maybe a little inappropriate. Mm -hmm. I say to everybody, look, we've got to learn to stay in our Thanksgiving lane. Stay in your lane so that you don't invite any kind of negative conversation. I think mm -hmm. politics you want to stay away from if you can. You know, you're always going to create a little bit more negativity. I've seen some big ones at Thanksgiving where people have stormed out. And mm -hmm. so you, you, you may want to keep that off the table. <laughs> you want, may want to point out, here's a good question for Thanksgiving, Shan. Think about this. Tell me about the best thing that you ha think happened to you this past year. Mm -hmm. It's a different positive, conversation. Yeah. yeah, it's very positive. Mm -hmm. You know, or what was the, your biggest moment, or what were you most proud of this last yeah. year? I like so that. So it's, it's a very different conversation yeah. for Thanksgiving. And okay. so, you know, remember what we were talking about starting new traditions for Thanksgiving. I like that. And also know your audience. Sometimes look at the dinner table is not a good thing for everybody. So <laughs> help, help your guests out sometime. All right. <laughs> Jay Marks, thank you so much for starting your Thanksgiving day with us. We appreciate it.